The artist recreates the world. Welcome to the artist recreates the world. I'm with Kali Raymond, writer. What else you do, um, um, writer? I also do rap, poetry, and a bit of acting. But you know. But I seen your books, so I would say, I would say your strength is your writing. <laughs> How many books? You, how many books have you written now so far? Um, currently, about to be at fifty. Believe it or not. Wait, wait a minute. Hold oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. The last time I talked to you, you had like seven books written, right? Nah, I had seven. Right? At that time, yes. Okay. And tell me if I'm not wrong. Out of those seven books, those books were over like thirty thousand words each, right? Correct. Okay. So now you tell me you have fifty. Almost 50. I'm working on my own 50th one right now. Very special project. It'll be releasing within later of the okay. year. I'm taking some time to um, develop some new material. But I also do have um, three more books coming out in February. Two on Valentine's Day and um, <clears throat> another probably within the last week of February. Probably that last weekend or so. And so uh, I will be on. Um, Posting updates about that as well on my social media. Okay, um, which which books are published? How many are published? Um, out of those, nearly fifty. I currently have forty-one published right now. As everything else is on um, set up for pre-order or being developed as we speak. Okay, so I talked to your mo mother briefly because we did an interview before months ago um, with uh, Mayor Raz Baraka um, at City Hall. And your mother was telling me, tell me about this early process, because you've been writing for a long time. Yes. So it's not like you're an old dude, like you call the people old today in the media. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you call the people old in the media. They was like, all the people like, who are you talking to? <laughs> I ain't mean to call so, I, so I told him the next time, when you want to refer to older people, you say, um, all the other generations here like that, you know, and then they don't get offended. But we all learn lessons. But yeah, I talked to mom. Talk about how long you've been writing. Cause it's not like you're old. How old are you? Um, you're in your twenties. I turned nineteen last year, so I should be twenty by the end of this year. Yo, this guy is twenty. You know, and I have to say, I know I asked your question, but the reason why I'm so jealous is because I have some manuscripts that I work with. And I know we have different material, but I do this series because I like people to, to know and understand different type of artists. Because the writer's the writer is close to my heart, and I say the the, the only book that I have published it was twenty five thousand words, and that joint was yo bust my brain. I'm working on another one, which is another twenty five thousand words, but it's 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 work. So when you say and I said 25,000 words. One of your books has like 60,000 words, right? You know what I mean? My biggest one got over, uh, I say, 100K. Over, well over 100K. So, okay. Now, so, where do these ideas come from? Let me go, let me start there. Because your mother told me, what's your, your mother told me like when you were young, you were, you focused on, so how, was, how did that work? I mean, when I was young, I started writing what you would call comic books. They weren't really comic books, you know, I took notebook paper, ripped them out of notebooks and folded them up. So right, you were talking about that story here. Yeah. pictures and yeah. um, dialogue or whatever. Um, well, I got many inspirations from, you know, things in my daily life. People I've known over the years, such as my teachers, you know, um, classmates I may have had. That's right, your principal was at the um, right. Upside, right? When I was in eighth grade, yeah, he was there. I wanted to get my guardian's counsel from that time to come, but he couldn't make it. But he did give me uh, his best wishes at that time as well. So we're, I'm sorry, we're at Express Newark, and um, we just came out of an event. What was the name of that event? Um, it was Pearls of Wisdom. It was an intergenerational discussion, you know, about what was Newark in the day. Culturally, Newark Back in the right. day, what is Newark now, and what can it be in the future? So we're talking about culture. So we had like a whole, we had like an entire discussion circled around like um, arts and work such as poetry, um, writing, music, 
all, you, all the arts. Basically, yes. Everything all that the arts. Pertains to and jazz, jazz, which is a big part of North because, you know, Sarah Brown, we talk about her too, which is arguably one of the most best vocalists in the, in the industry of all time. So she goes like a household name, you know, in the jazz scene, not only in North, but possibly across the world. You, you went out on jazz, I mean, I'm trying to find out how you write this book. So, tell me how the, how the process of an idea of a book, like, what's the last one you wrote? I mean, um, the last one I wrote was a book of poetry, I believe. Yes, it was a book of poetry. As I'm, now, currently, I'm really heavy into poetry now. You know, I've been writing lots of volumes, you know, poetry, so, with poems pertaining to certain poems. We cannot say uh, themes such as centered around living in an urban community, right. gang violence, death, yeah. losing someone you love or loving someone from a distance that you love to say to them, you know, things of that nature. Right, that's the art. That's the art that need, is, is needed. So, um, tell me about one of those, one of your books that you really. Um, or close to, how did that idea come about? Because you got so many books, I, I can't, I don't know. So how about your first one? My first one, I could discuss my first one. And I also want to bring my 10th one up too, but I'll always discuss All my right, first bring one. your 10th one up, that, if that's more comfortable for I you. I mean, we could, I could discuss the first one too. So. Okay, I mean, that's the one that got me started. Right. My first book, The Ballad of Sydney Hill, which I had published. What was the name of it again? The Ballad of Sydney Hill, All right. as in like a hill. Please forgive me, y'all. I'm slowing down here. <laughs> it's late. But anyway, got you. And what was that about? Is that a novel? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a novel. Um, I published it. It was my first book that I published back in 2014. At the time, I was 15, I believe. Yeah, I was 15 back then. Wow. And I started working on that when I was in eighth grade. You know, because like, it was a book I read in class. And I had read that same book like two years prior. And then it inspired me to write my own piece. How long, how long do you write during the week? I mean, I write every day. Right. Usually- That's I, important for writers I'll, to write. Usually I'll, I'll write like either in the morning or I'll write at night. I mean, I'll recommend the morning because you know, when you wake up, your thoughts is fresh. Yeah. You know, and then you could just go at it with it. I try, I, try, I, try to write, I try to write before I go to school. And sometimes I write in school. Writers are different, but- And, and sometimes, okay. I know I shouldn't be, but I'll be, be writing in class even though I should be. I well, <laughs> I mean, there are exceptions to the rule. There are always exceptions to the rule. And um, if you wrote 50 books already, um, I would say you would be an exception to the rule. Um, what, what's your goal when you're writing? I mean, or most of them, are they self-help or they novels? How does that work? It's a variety, you know. Mm. But I'm, my main focus is to tell my story to, you know, maybe somebody from where I'm sitting and say, hey, I can relate to that. You know, if he went through it, you know, right. maybe I could be something to him. Right. Or, you know, some, or, you know I, could write a, I could write a book that's in the hood, you know. Or, you know, it don't matter what, you, what hood you in, you in Detroit, Newark, or whatever. You know, somebody may know, like, um, somebody like Sydney or any other characters that I may have in my books. Right, you know? right, you right. May, you may know someone like that. Right, or, that's what the art is all about, yes. Or you may, you may be able to relate to something that's in the book. And that's... The key thing that I want to touch base upon, you know, I want to make people feel as if, you know, they read my books and be like, hey, it sounds like something I say, or, you know, I kind of live this too, or this is what I'm around. You know, it's about um, community, you know, reaching out to people. Because my, I don't really write for the right audience. I mean, I do sometimes. But my work is for anyone that could pick up on it, so to speak. You know, if you could relate to it, you could open it and say, hey, you know, this guy's saying some amazing stuff. You know, he's actually showing me the way yeah. to where I need to be. I feel like... I mean, there's some things I say that I should not be saying, but I well, say them anyway. Well, <laughs> no, I think things that... I think that's the job of the writer. Yep. The job of the writer <laughs> is to say those things and go to those places that... Um, Normal people don't. I found I found myself doing that more now. You know, going places with my writing that I ain't never been like three, four years ago. Right. When I first started. Right. You no, know, not only am I talking about how I grew up, I'm 
I'm talking about the current political situation yes. here in America. You dealing with politics? I mean, you know, I am much. I am activist. Locally. Locally. Maybe I could go on a national level even. Uh oh. <laughs> but, dealing with politics. I mean, dealing with the current situation here in America. You know, it goes beyond politics. You know, here you have an entire administration that's trying to silence our voices. Not only my voice, but the many voices of you know blacks and Latinos or any any other kind of uh, ethnic group that's across America. Like you have an entire organization dedicated. To want to silence that. Do you want to do um, journalistic work or you prefer just doing your writing? I'm open pretty much to any options. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you familiar with the, the um, digital papers in New York? Brick City Live? I heard of New York Times? I, I, have heard, I just heard of New York Times last week, right. to be honest with you. Right. Yeah, you have a pretty progressive um, mindset. I don't think any of the papers here in New York are as progressive as you speak. And I think that's very important. I think um, actually tomorrow I'm supposed to be interviewing Andrea Taylor, who's the editor of um, Brick City Live. Digital paper has done really well. Today I actually talked to the um, editor in chief um, of Black Enterprises. But um, we, we need you, man, to keep, I can't say do, do more writing, but do more writing. I, mean, more hey, books, I, I could do more writing. <laughs> But um, I think you should do that journalistic thing, and I think you should do that pro progressive thing because it's, it's needed. But um, I just want to have you on because we did an interview before, and um, all the stuff is coming back to me now about what your mother said and the principal. And um, but you 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 are more op open than you were before because the time last time we interviewed, man, you were whispering. Now I was. Then, not, it, was it was actually what was that? My first book signing. Yeah, it was. Very nervous. I mean, I was kind of, I was very yeah, nervous. No. I mean, you probably wouldn't notice. I mean, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe no, 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 you no. Know, I didn't notice that you were nervous. I just I mean, noticed. It wasn't that I. Because I was like, yo, talk, man. Your mom, I think your mother was telling you to speak up too, right? Uh, yeah, I believe she was. Yeah, it wasn't, it mother. wasn't that, like, I didn't want to talk to you. Anymore. No, but it comes with time, man. I mean, being in front of cameras, talking in front of people. The more you do it, you get more comfortable. I started getting more used to it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I also wanted to speak about my 10th book as well. Um, I released that almost two years ago. So now, where can people find you? Like if they want to follow you on Instagram. You do social media or you don't do it? I do social media. Yeah, but where you at? I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. As what? I'm on Twitter. I won't go with that in a second. Um, I mean, I'm on Snapchat, but uh, I don't, I'm not really keen on filters. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about slapping the dog foot on my face, you know Yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> And um, what what is your um, what's your tag? I mean hashtag. Um, <laughs> no 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 no. What's your tag on like if I want to reach you and follow you on Instagram? Oh, oh my my tag is underscore underscore um, T R P Y S H T R P Y. This hot goes underscore under two underscores right. Got it. T R P Y S H V T underscore. What does that mean? I mean I really don't know. I just came up with it. I came up with it a long time ago. That's all right, man. That's how artists are, man. Artists, I'm like, what's your tag mean? I don't know. That's just my tag. I just came up with it. Now, you use that tag for Twitter and... I have different Twitter tags. Um, my Twitter tag is simply underscore Kali. Okay. And then my Facebook is... And how do you spell Kali? K-H-A. Okay. L-I. All right, cool. And All then right. my Facebook is... Holly Raymond, which is my government name, so that should be a hard fun. It's government name, Holly <laughs> Raymond. <laughs> we saved that for the end. No. <laughs> but yeah. Continue success, it. man. Thank of you for course. coming on. Thank man. you for talking out, man. Last time I interviewed this dude, he was like, he was like, yo, man, speak up, dude. You trying to interview for the TV? All right. All right, man. Nice talking. Hey man, and, and, you are an artist that recreates well, and you should look into just some journalism, man. I think it would be good because it seems like there's a progression in the art, in your writing, and it's almost like the novels or the self-help, the poetry is, is therapeutic, but you need to be out here, out in the trenches, and the trenches is journalism, yeah. because as you spoke about earlier, these folk, they control the narrative. 
and that's where the secret is. I mean, if you, well, whoever's controlling that narrative and putting that narrative out every day, that's what people want to believe. Yeah. So we need to control our narrative. Just right. gotta, you know, get plugged in with a newspaper, see what I can write for. All right, I'm gonna follow up on that. I'm gonna send some people your way. You got any articles? You got any burning ones? I'm sure. I'm I, sure. I, did, I did have an article published not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And what? Where? Um, plenty, of, plenty of sites. Okay. Mainly like mental health because, you know, I do struggle with um, depression and things like that. I'm not really going to talk about that in front of the camera. But no, no, I cut this off. But I, I do <laughs> consider you a genius. And that's, when, when you talk about genius, when you talk about genius and um, mental illness or craziness, that cusp is right there. It's right on the line, baby. That's how it works. That's how it works. That genius, that genius, and being crazy, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm serious. That's, I mean, I think that's why artists are so, you know, we're so weird and so crazy and so zany. We do some, you know, I mean, we can we can write and color and paint and everything, but then if you ask us what colors our washcloth, we'd be like, what? <laughs> we'd be like, what? I'm like, you know, the last time I remember it was green, but why is it red also? I ain't messing with you, man. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Yo, we out, man. Yeah. Follow him. Check him out. Um, I don't disappoint. Yeah. Appreciate your work, man. Keep it up. No problem. Peace, we out. Peace.